Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to the video. Now the vehicle that I'm sitting in right now is a 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan. And if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you'd know I've done some pretty disgusting vehicles. Well, this one is right up there with one of the worst. All right, well, before we jump into this epic transformation, I need to show you around the vehicle so you can get a good sense of the absolute disaster that it is. And while the exterior isn't in bad shape, it looks like the van was driven on a freshly paved road recently as it's covered in road tar, but moving inside now and it only gets worse as the mess in here is off the charts. From the empty beer cans to the piles and piles of french fries and other old food and garbage, the horribly dirty carpets and downright nasty cup holders in the back, it's almost hard to grasp just how gross this van is. Even the second row storage bins have turned into garbage cans and are full of old food. And if that's not enough, there's tons of dog hair embedded in the carpets too. But just before we dive into all the french fries, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and that you've got the bell on so you never miss out on a future video. All right guys, well it's pretty clear I've got an enormous challenge ahead of me to get this van looking brand new again. So as always, sit back, relax, and enjoy the transformation. Okay, well getting started on the pre-wash rinse now, and like I mentioned in the opening, the van has a pile of road tar on the rocker panels, doors, and rear bumper, which unfortunately isn't going to budge with the pressure washer right now, so I'll have to take care of that later. And I wanted to let you guys know that besides the incredible transformation this van makes, you will want to stick around until the end of the video as the owner reaction on this one is pretty epic and one that you do not want to miss. Now, I'll never really understand how this happens, but the door jams on the sliding doors were full of french fries and other sticky goo, so the only way to get them clean is to blast them out with the pressure washer, which thankfully makes pretty quick work of it.
Now with the pre-wash rinse complete, I'll grab my Detail Geek Megafoam and start prepping my foam cannon by filling it up with water, adding some Megafoam and then shaking it up really good. Then I'll get my wash bucket prepped, adding about an ounce of my Detail Geek car shampoo and then just before I start on the wash stage, I'll get the van covered in super thick foam so I can use my detail brush around all the trim and crevices. Starting on the couple of floor mats that were in the van now, and I figured it was a good time to remind you guys about the second channel, the Detail Geek 2, which is where I post everything from shorts to ASMR videos, compilations, day in the life videos, and even the garage cleanup videos that you guys like so much, one of which I just posted earlier this week. So if you guys are a fan of muddy things getting cleaned, well, be sure to head over there and check that one out. All right, with the van back in the garage now, I can get to work on removing the seats and some of the trim pieces as there's no way that those things can be cleaned properly with them still in the vehicle. And with them out now, we can get a good look at the absolute carnage that's remaining. So the next step here is to get rid of all the old food and any obvious garbage, set aside any personal belongings. And yeah, if you're curious, I filled the entire garbage bag by the time I was done. And you might also notice that I'm not wearing my respirator right now, and that's simply because the van didn't actually smell all that bad. Now, I don't know if my nose was having an off day or what, but it was nice not needing to wear it right now because it can get pretty sweaty. All 
Now, like I mentioned earlier, there's a ton of dog hair embedded in the carpets here and it's really stuck in there. So I'm going ahead and using my Lily brush to help get those trapped hairs out. And as you can see, it pretty well effortlessly pulls them out. So for anyone out there who struggles with pet hair in their vehicles or at home, I've got these brushes available on my website at detailgeekautocare.com and I would highly recommend giving them a look as they're pretty inexpensive and they will last for quite a long time. Now these seat anchor points were some of the grimiest areas in the vehicle and I honestly don't want to know what this was but it was glued to the carpet so hopefully I can get that loosened up with the drill brush later on but if not the steamer can easily take care of it too. working my way around with the vacuum now and this angle should give you an idea of how thin the carpet in here is which unfortunately means it's pretty poor quality and not as easy to get perfectly clean especially these high traffic areas which really has me wondering why they don't make vans like this with rubber floors it's no secret vans tend to be pretty messy so having a rubber floor here would be far more practical from a cleaning perspective it would certainly add to the utility that a van offers which is a big reason why people buy them Starting on the trim now and I'll grab my Detail Geek Boar's Hair Detail Brush and get to work agitating around all the trim and crevices which will make things cleaner and easier when I have the steamer out later on.
Here's all the french fries, chips, and other gross stuff that my vacuum sucked out of here. Yikes. All right, well, starting on extracting the carpets now, and you can see there's some barbecue sauce stuck on the carpet here, which I know from experience just needs a bit of persuasion from my green drill brush to remove, and for the hard to reach seat anchor points, I'll switch over to the two inch brush, which loosens up that crud pretty quickly. working my way around the van now and it's time for this week's members question which comes from Joel and it's would you like to recommend a brand or a speed of the drills that you use with the drill brush and are the battery powered brands strong enough? So I know I've mentioned it a time or two but the drill I'm using here is an 18 volt Bosch drill so yes battery powered ones are definitely strong enough to get the job done though in my experience you'll want to use an 18 volt one as the 12 volt ones don't have quite enough power but basically any 18 volt drill will work fine the only thing I would say is to never use an impact driver as you'll likely end up breaking your drill brush since they're capable of delivering three to four times more force into the brush. Here's the bucket full of absolutely concentrated filth pulled out of this van. Gross. Okay, starting on all the trim now, and I'm first spraying on some of my Detail Geek all-purpose cleaner, diluted 10 to 1 here, 
which makes cleaning up this disgusting mess much, much easier as the APC coupled with the steamer will basically obliterate anything in its path. So for anyone out there who enjoys cleaning their own vehicle, this all-purpose cleaner is something I'd highly recommend having as it's one of the most versatile products that I use and it's even dilutable, which means one bottle is going to last you quite a while. You can find it along with all the other new Detail Geek chemicals on my website at detailgeekautocare.com. Now for this big second row trim piece here, it's covered in sticky goo like the rest of the interior was, but I do have to say I'm thankful that I didn't find a single piece of chewed up gum in the van, which is something I've dealt with in the couple of previous vans I did that were like this. Okay, with the leather cleaned and conditioned, I'll start on dressing and UV protecting the interior trim with 303's Aerospace Protectant, which as you know is one of my favorite products because it works so well and leaves all the plastic with a matte finish that really just looks incredible. So if you haven't picked up a bottle of this stuff yet and tried it for yourself, 
I'd highly recommend that you do. The link to it is available in the description along with nearly every other product and tool that I use, so be sure to give it a look. Second last step here is to get some of my glass cleaner sprayed onto my waffle weave towel, which is the secret to streak free glass in case you didn't know. And after wiping the area down, I'll simply just flip my towel for the final wipe, leaving a perfectly clear finish behind every time. Brand new as I could get it, so it looks 
it looks better than what I got it at. Okay, so uh, yeah. I'll give okay. you the rules and uh, yeah, enjoy it. Okay, thank you. Okay, enjoy it. Thank you. See ya. See ya. All right guys, well a grueling 15 hours later and it's almost hard to believe that that's the same van that I started with. The transformation was incredible and the disaster has been completely undone. Now if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you share it with a family member or a friend and show them just how disgusting that van was when I started. Go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out on future transformations like this. Enjoy the guitar outro and I will see you guys in the next one.